Hey guys, it's Agnes Dilmer again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really gonna help me in bringing you all more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm gonna continue the videos on procedural generation with L Systems. I'm going to be adding additional properties to the existing randomizer and show you how we can accomplish that. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, so let me show you what we're gonna be doing today, guys, which is to review one of the previous scenes that I that I had before and also add some more randomization options. So I renamed a couple of the scenes from the, pre the previous video that I show you. I ended up creating a new one, which is called a system at a random one. And this one only has one tree that is randomized. And then the previous one is going to be L system at a random many. So this used to be called just L system at a random. So just keep that in mind if you're looking for the previous scene. I'm going to update the GitHub repo so that you guys know the, the changes. So this one has many, many trees. So I don't want to change this one because this one was already laid out perfectly. I just clone it and then create created a new one called L system auto random one. So if we look at this one and we focus on the L system turtle, and I'm gonna leave it plain so you guys can see it. I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I wanna do in this video. So if I collapse this, I want to add more options to the randomizer. Right now, the only options that we have is we can specify, you know, how many seconds to wait, which is great. We can specify a minimum angle and a maximum angle. But I also want to randomize the line length. I think it'll be cool if we do that. And we can also randomize the number of generations. And the other thing that I want to do is I want to randomize also the colors that we're using for the tree. So let's go ahead and get going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into assets and I'm gonna open up my C-sharp project. And we're gonna be looking at the, basically the L system total randomizer and go into it. So, so right now it's pretty basic, right? I have a private flow of randomized seconds. I have a minimum angle, maximum angle. I'm also have a timer to know when I'm going to be applying these randomized values. And then when the timer, you know, when the timer executes, then we execute the randomization, we set it back to zero, and then we keep incrementing. So the other things that I want to that I want to randomize that I was just looking at is we can also randomize what we have in the L system total. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna collapse this, I'm gonna put this one on the side. That way we can refer to what we need to randomize. So I'm gonna randomize the number of generations. This is how many times we're gonna be going through the L system algorithm. We can set it to one, it's gonna be a basic three, two, three, and four, and then more replacements are gonna happen in the alphabet. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start with the line length and we can randomize that. So I'm going to go ahead and just clone these two properties here and we can, they're actually fields. So we can just say minimum line length. And we can also just copy that value. Let's go ahead and do a max. And let's just do a max there. And then normally I set that to one. So I think I'm just going to start with one. And we're gonna go basically to one. And no Siri, I don't wanna talk to you right now. <laughs> All right, so we can go back here. So then what I'm gonna do is I normally start, when I'm doing randomization, I normally start with very low numbers. I try not to go too high, too crazy. So I'm just gonna do negative five to five. Since we normally just do one or two on the length, especially, especially for the examples that I've been doing. So we have that, and then I'm also going to wanna do the, the generations. So I'm just gonna copy this as well. And we're going to be cloning that. And I'll just copy that and then we'll just say minimum number of generations except the N is gonna be capital. And then we can do maximum number of generations. And then the same thing here, I'm going to, well, in this one, I don't wanna go from, I don't really wanna go from a negative number because there's really no such a thing as a negative generation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a minimum of one and then we're gonna go the same thing. A one five and then one five. That way we can go and generate from you know from one to two. We can go from one to three, uh, or two to three, and so on. So that's what we're gonna do here: minimum and maximum. And then the other thing that I also want to do is I want to be able to randomize the colors. I don't want to. I just want a routine that can do that. And I have some snippets of code that are gonna do that. And I'm gonna show you that here in just a second. So this is normally what I use for for randomizing and creating random colors. So we, we can create a material, we, get, we tell it what the, you know, what the color is gonna be, we tell it the name, 
and then we tell it the shader that we're gonna create, and this just, this just basically creates a material for us, and then it creates a randomized material. So, and let me actually, let me actually change that because that doesn't actually create a, all this is doing is just creating a material with price default. Let me go into my GitHub repo, and then we can pull one that really, really applies a randomized color. And I think I did that on, let me check here in just a second. I think I can go into one of my projects that I've been that I've been using to do that. So let me go back here and know that. We want to go back into so the project I've been working on is Visually 5. So we can we can open up my code there. And I can look at the implementation of the of the randomized color. So here we go. So pick a random color and I just get a random color. So this is the method that I want to that I want to use. So it's pretty simple. I just didn't remember it on the top of my head. So this just does a random color with a color HSV. So it's gonna co basically copy that, and we can go back into into my other project. So, and we're gonna have to also create a material. So we're gonna need. We're actually gonna need these two. And instead of passing in the color here, I'm just going to get that color. And this is gonna be the name of the material that we want to that we want to create. We can pass that in. And instead of just creating a new method here, what we can do is we can just do this. And this is just going to create a create a random create material with random color. We can just say we can just say that. I think that that works. Awesome. And then I'll just copy that. And now we can go back into our other project that we're working on. And then I have that in the clipboard so we can work on that in just a second. All right. So so the next thing that I need to do now is you can see that I have the L system total angle. And I'm specifying the angle, but if we look at the if you look at the light, light length, that one is private, so we're not going to be able to access it. I'm just going to change that to public, so that we can change it. And I'm also going to be changing the number of generations, and we can we can basically do that. So we don't want to do it right after this because this is when the the system gets generated. We're going to be doing it right after. So I'm just going to say L system total, and then we're going to start with the line. So I'm just going to say random that range. So this is going to give us a, a random number between the minimum line length and maximum light length. And we're going to do the same thing with the generations. So I'm just going to say number of generations equal random that range, no rotation range, and then minimum number of generations, maximum number of generations. OK, so the, the other thing that I need to do, oh, it looks like this is, let's see, oh, I see. So I didn't want to do the number of generations right now. And yeah, this is an int. I copied the run. So we don't want to make it a flow because it's going to be an int. So I'm just going to be making making them. Let's see, where did I go? Oh, there we go. It's 5.48 in the morning, guys. So sorry if I make mistakes. That happens. And serialize. OK, so this is good. This is an int. This is an int. And L system total, number of generations. And we're doing a minimum and a maximum. Minimum length, maximum length. Just double checking everything to make sure that everything everything is correct. So the the other thing that I want to do here though is we want to specify whether we're gonna be doing a randomized color or material or not. And and to do that I need to I need to change this a little bit, actually this code right here. And what I'm gonna do for that, right now I don't specify material, right? If I search for material, I'm just getting the material from the line render. And that's okay. I think I think that's great. We can get it. We can get it from there. But instead of getting it from from there, I'm going to I'm going to be changing the way that that that, that happens. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a, pro, a public property, and this one is going to say, you know, something like generate random material, and we can just set it to basically to false by default. And then the way that that's going to work is. If this is set to true, we're going to generate a random material. Otherwise, we will basically not, not generate a random material. So it's going to say private. And then this is going to be the material that we're going to be generating randomly. We're going to just say random material. And then right now, it's just not going to be set. And then what I'll do is I'll do this in the awake. And then we're just going to do. So I'm just thinking about how we're going to be approaching this because if I want to change this on demand, let's say that I want to, I make a change 
and I want this to start generating random materials. One thing that I want to avoid though is like for every line, I don't want to be creating random materials because there are going to be thousands. So I'm just going to I'm just going to enforce it on the beginning. We're not going to do it every time. Otherwise, the, this is just going to go insane. So we're going to do it at the beginning. So just keep that in mind. And I'm going to put some notes on the in the actual randomizer so people know. So random material is going to be equal. So what we're going to do here, we're going to say, okay, if generate random material is equal to true, then we're going to set the random material option. And this is going to be calling a new utility. So let's go ahead and add a utility here. And I'm going to go into my scripts. I'm going to call it, let's go ahead and create a new folder. Just going to call it utils. And then we can do, go ahead and click on new file. And then we can just say material utils, just like I did on the other on the other script. And then I believe I don't have an in space here. So let's just go ahead and clone the whole thing. Copy that. And then I'll just paste that. Okay. We don't need to look at that anymore. And okay. So what I need to do is just say, I need to say material utils. And this is going to complain that it doesn't know where to get it from. And we're gonna just bring in the using statement. Let me make this bigger a little bit so we can see we can see everything. And then this is gonna call the create material color. Let me go ahead and close. Let's close out of this one. I'm just gonna save it. That way we can see we can see the whole thing. So right now this is not going to have a name. So what, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the name of this game object. So it's gonna say game object, that name, and we can use our interpolation here. And I'm just gonna say, you know, it's gonna be the name of that object, and we're just gonna basically append the the name material. And then comma, this is gonna use the sprites on forward slash default shader. And, and I think that's fine, we can just use that. I don't see a, a reason to change that. Okay, so we're gonna do this on the awake, and this is only gonna happen on you know when we start the game. Otherwise, like I said, it's going to it's going to require that we create way too many materials. And then the last thing that I want to do though is I want to so right now this is set to you know using the line render material. So what I'm gonna do is when we set up a new line, I'm just gonna check okay, do we do we call randomized material generate random random material? If we set if we set yes, then what I'm gonna do is just gonna do a question mark here. Then I'm gonna get a random material. Otherwise, I'm gonna use the material material that we already have from the line render. So that should take care of that. And just go ahead and read, get rid of some things that we don't use. And I think that's everything that we need on this script. The other script that I'm going to modify, we need to go back into a randomizer. And then in the randomizer, I'm gonna say, now that we have that property, I'm just gonna say generate random material and then this is going to this is going to be set right here so i need to add another property to set that and i'm going to just go ahead and copy this one and this one is just going to say serialize field it's going to be a boolean and we can just say generate random material and we're going to set it to false by default awesome and if we set it to true, then or false, it doesn't matter. This is always going to get set, and then that way we can control, you know, whether to generate a random material or not. So I think that's everything, and we probably should add a note in here that this is going to, this is only going to be applied on the awake. So this is only apply on the awake. So that way we know that you know when if you set it if you change it the the after running the game it's not gonna make any changes to in runtime it's only gonna happen if you stop the game and then replay the game. All right, so I think we have everything that we need here. So let's go ahead and go back into Unity and look at the results if everything worked. And all right, and now we should see more options in here on our randomizer, quite a few more options. So let's go ahead and focus on okay. So one of the things that I want to try, let's go ahead and try randomize a material and see what we get. See if we get a random random materials created. And, and there we go. But we're not getting we're not getting any colors. So let me see, let me see why why that's the case. So if we look at the line render right now and we look at the material, there wasn't a material generated just yet. So let me see why. Because when I went into the total system, I'm saying create a material with random color. 
we're passing in the name of the material so let me go he, go ahead and go into that it's going to pass in a name we're going to be finding that shader this is going to be the name of the material we're returning so so far so good i don't know why this would be false oh i see why so one of the problems that i see right now is these this is never going to get set so it's going to get set to false remember that we need to set this in the very beginning and if i look at the l system total this is only happening on the awake so that's going to be that's going to be an issue so let me see what i did here as well so if generate randomized material we get the random material which in this case is null because the code didn't you know it didn't get a chance to get into this in, into the code here so let me let me go ahead and change the way that we implemented this because if we don't if we don't if we don't do it before this gets executed it's going to it's going to be an issue and we need to we need to know that in advance so let me think how we're going to how we're going to accomplish that because the generate is, is happening in here let me see if i can change when the start color it's happening so this is happening here we don't have a start method here so what i'm going to do though is we can go ahead and execute generate on start which is my which is going to be the default behavior hopefully i didn't change it's not going to change a lot of the code and let me so i'm just going to do generate here and then this one it's going to happen on the awake so let's go ahead and do awake and okay perfect so i think we're still going to run into issues because this is not going to set unless the other script so let's go ahead and change this and also move it down so i'm going to do it right here and then we can just get rid of the awake completely let me go back into the randomizer the randomizer is actually going to have to happen this has to happen before everything else so i'm going to go ahead and move this here so it's going to happen in the awake that way we can set the property the the system will have the randomized color by that time and then if you notice i never actually set this so we need to set this and i think we should be okay right now let me go ahead and go back into unity and see if that it's going to work and i have it set to true so let's go ahead and hit play and there we go so that's that's working so the randomized material in this case was good was uh, the color blue let me let me check one more thing here because i want these to I, I want these to have two different colors so let me go into my total system and look so this is going to be the material material that i'm generating but i think it would be cool if we had the a different star color and a different end color i think i'm going to do that for the next video otherwise this is we're never going to finish this video so i'm just go creeping by now so let's try this again and hit play and see if we get a different color and looks like we're getting different colors let's try this one more time and now we're getting you know we're getting different colors the the other thing that i want to show you let's say that we want to have this be a random line length so i'm just gonna do maybe we'll just do you know something bigger you can see how it's growing and if i do five we're going small we're going smaller and let's see number of generations let's change the number of generations let's do maybe one through two and you can kind of see how that is making it change let's go ahead and do three and you can kind of see we're getting much larger trees and also smaller trees what if we do let's go ahead and do two between two and four and you can see we're getting now much larger trees and then a smaller trees so what's cool about this though is now i can do something like okay this is going to be my first system and this is going to be my second system so if we go into here and we look at these two systems i'm going to be offsetting that the new system to let's do like 30 and see if we can see both of them at the same time there we go so we got one here and we got one right here kind of see how that creates different randomization and there we go so so we're getting some various you know changes on this i'm going to be i think i need to change the way that that basically some of these values because they are not 
Okay, let's go ahead and do, maybe this one we'll do it between two and four. The line length on this one, I'll just do five. Well, let's do 1.5 and three. This one I'm gonna do minimum angle, we can just do 40 and 60. And then on this other one, we'll do, so I wanna do, I wanna st still do a lot of generations. So three and four. Minimum we can do one through, let's do various, various, let's do one through five. And then on the angle we can do maybe from 55 to 65. Let's do, yeah, I think, I think that works. And we can do, we can do the randomization on this one maybe every second. And let's see, let's see what we get. There we go, getting, getting different. Let me offset one a little bit because I think it's just, they're too close to each other. This one I'm gonna do, let's do it a zero. There we go, zero and zero. And then I'll do negative six on Y, that way we're going closer to the bottom. Let's go ahead and hit play. And see, there we go. So we're getting some various results. Very results on trees. They're more random. This one is changing every second. This one is changing every two seconds. And then, so that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about anything that I just mentioned, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing in my office behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.